Look, there is the T-Rex monster. It will eat us. It will eat everything. Save me. Save the world. <laughs> Well, that's the point. There is no dino in reality. The poor lady is behaving this way because she is suffering from schizophrenia. What? It's schizophrenia, an important topic. I'll explain in today's episode. So, let's zoom in. Schizophrenia is a long-lasting mental disorder that affects a person's ability to tell what is real and what is not real. Though every patient displays slightly different symptoms, however, it generally starts with subtle personality changes, irritability, disordered speech, and the slow encroachment of weird thoughts. Later, People with schizophrenia may also show sudden shifts in emotions like going from feeling afraid and anxious to uncontrollable laughter for no apparent reason. Along with these, other symptoms may include a lack of emotional expression when speaking, having problems making and keeping friends, and lack of motivation to do everyday tasks. And as time passes, the patient may start to show certain psychotic episodes of hallucination, a condition of seeing and hearing things that are not present. Or they may get delusional about themselves and believe that they are someone important such as a president, king or prime minister. Sometimes these delusions can be paranoid in nature causing unreal fear or suspicion that someone is out to get them or the person may start to believe that aliens are controlling him or her. Now comes the real question. What causes schizophrenia? Well, while the exact cause of schizophrenia is not fully understood, Scientists have identified several factors that contribute to the development of this disorder. And one of the most significant factors is genetics, as people with a family history of schizophrenia are more likely to develop the disorder. Plus, numerous genes also play a big role in its development, but we are yet to identify them. Another factor that contributes to the development of schizophrenia is environmental factors. For example, exposure to certain viruses or toxins during early childhood may increase a person's risk of developing this disorder. Additionally, things like social isolation, stressful life events and the use of certain drugs can also increase the risk of schizophrenia in highly susceptible people. Besides, research has found that people with schizophrenia tend to have an overactive dopamine system, which may contribute to the systems of the disorder. Specifically, too much dopamine activity in certain areas of the brain can lead to delusions and hallucinations. I know what you are thinking. How to treat the serious disorder? Well, unfortunately, there is no solid cure for schizophrenia, but it can be treated with antipsychotic medications combined with cognitive behavioral therapy that can help patients learn to manage their symptoms and improve their quality of life. And if these things fail to work, then electroconvulsive therapy can also be an effective treatment. But the best approach is to detect the early symptoms and make an appointment with the doctor. Remember my friends, schizophrenia has a lot of stigma attached to it. And the people with this disorder are considered a threat to others. But in reality, they are actually the victims of their brain 
playing tricks on them. So, be kind to them, show love to them and do your best to provide timely treatment to them. Trivia time! Did you know schizophrenia affects approximately 24 million people worldwide? Also, schizophrenia is uncommon in children under the age of 12 years and mostly appears between the ages of 16 and 30. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Suhan. Hope you learned something important today. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs>